Democrats should be asking themselves, as a matter of fact, why aren't they dominating the political landscape? Two decades ago, the influential book, The Emerging Democratic Majority, predicted they would due to demographic changes in the country. You'll be announcing that we're calling the 38 electoral votes of Texas for the Democratic nominee for president. It's changing. It's going to become a purple state and then a blue state because of the demographics, because of the population. The growth in Texas has been almost entirely driven by non-white population growth, mostly by Hispanic and Latino population growth. The idea that um, you know whites will, will not be the majority, I mean, that's... It's an exciting transformation of the country. It's an exciting evolution uh, and, you know, progress of our country. White people will be replaced as the majority of the people in the country. That's not racist to say that, just, it's just a fact. The question becomes, why are you so upset about that? This conspiracy theory has been increasingly echoed by many who are on the right. What the fuck did I just hear? What you just saw was a combination of Democrats and their state media mouthpieces openly admitting their belief that illegal immigration will turn red states blue and give their party permanent control. Oh, that's brilliant. It's not a secret. Yet the exact same people will accuse you of being a white supremacist conspiracy theorist if you notice it happening or suggest maybe it's not a good thing. After three years of Democrats encouraging and allowing millions of people into the country, they're now using their media to want to again pass the blame onto Republicans and attacking anybody who points out the people that are actually to blame. Like Elon Musk, who responded to an AP article reporting that Biden is prioritizing citizenship for illegal immigrants and calling Biden and Democrats out for their demographic warfare, saying, Biden's strategy is very simple. One, get as many illegals into the country as possible. Two, legalize them to create a permanent majority, a one-party state. That's true. This explains why there are so few deportations, as every deportation is a lost vote. As happened this week, you can literally assault police officers in broad daylight in New York, be released with no bail, give everyone the finger, and still not be deported. What the fuck? And by the way, it was Democrat DA Alvin Bragg who got those illegals back out on the street. This post from Elon Musk resulted in an immediate meltdown on the left, with all the usual suspects throwing around all the usual accusations. Harry Sisson, who's a paid Biden social media shill, whined that quote, Elon has gone full right-wing conspiracy theorist, you're citing an article from 2021 which talks about 11 million illegal immigrants already in America. You're just such a blatant liar who seeks to spread right-wing misinformation and conspiracy theories. This is legitimately insane. White population is declining. It, it was always on the upswing. So that speaks to the beautiful diversity of America. It speaks to um, uh, how the, that population will, the demographics weigh in politically. This leftoid Will Stancil said, this really is the exact vile conspiracy theory that has been behind a lot of violence and the richest man in the world obsessively pushing it like this is incredibly dangerous. Demographics is destiny. Demographics is destiny. Demographics is destiny, right? The country is changing. I've been saying it here. Other people have been saying it here for years now, even before Donald Trump. The demographics is destiny. Or how about James Medlock here? I, for one, think it's bad that the richest person in the world bought a key social media platform and is using it to spread lies to whip up a moral panic about immigration so he can pay less in taxes. Because of demographic changes in this country, I think that the Democratic Party is going to win Texas moving forward and the Democratic Party is going to be in power for the next 30, 40 years. The demographic change that's happening in America right now gives the upper hand to Democrats. This census that just came out especially drives home the point that Texas is next. It's a state where the demographics are changing in ways that are favorable to the Democratic Party. A decade ago, you'd read this on Stormfront. Democrats for a decade now, along with Arizona and Texas, have had on this sort of long-term project of, of trying to take uh, some red states across the Sun Belt and flip them blue as demographic changes are taking place. White people will be replaced as the majority of the people in the country. That's not racist to say that, just it's just a fact the question becomes why are you so upset about that the fact is not only is this not a conspiracy theory but the people behind it both admit it and deny it I swear, these people are utterly Orwellian. Like the New York mayor who keeps complaining about how mean Republicans are sending them too many illegals and it's destroying the city. Also, here's 53 million free dollary dues on prepaid gift cards for coming to our country illegally. Oh, that's that's weird, man, that's weird. 
remember the party that gave you all that free money. However, there is one silver lining, and that's the fact that most of these immigrants are religious and right-leaning socially. So far, things haven't quite worked out the way Democrats thought they would. My guess is that trend does not hold over time, as all of our institutions will be focused on making these people dependent on the Democrats and also over time indoctrinating them into the left-wing ideologies. Well, I hope you all found this informative. That's all I have for now. If you're still here, might as well hit that like button and I'll see you all in the next one.